a little bit about me. I am an over the road driver. I handle all 48 states and Canada. I'm a team driver, so I do have a teammate, which is back there sleeping. I do work for Indian River Transport, which you guys have seen my hat, you guys have seen my truck. I do love what I do. A little background on me is I've been driving for about eight years. I started with uh, Covenant Transport. I worked for them for six months. Found out that I did not want a team at that point in time in my career. So I left and went to a solo company and I went to Swift Transportation. At Swift Transportation, I stayed for six and a half years. Yes, yes, you can make fun of me all you want. It's all good. I stayed there six and a half years and loved it. I did everything there. I did reaver units. I did dry box. I did uh, flatbed, auto haul. Anything that I can get into, I did it. I also done dedicated. I had done Dollar General, Family Dollar. I'd done the Sears account. But I started as a solo. About two years after I was solo, I went and became a mentor. I stayed a mentor for a couple of years. And then I had a student roll my truck. It was not his fault. It was the weather's fault. It was an act of God. After that, I did not want to train anymore, so I started teaming. Ironically, I started teaming like four years after I did not want to be a team, but then I learned, because I was an owner op at the time, that the only way for the money to come in was to be a team and have the truck constantly moving. The truck needs to move for me to make money. For me to be able to take time off, I needed to make money. So, one hand washes the other. I'm being loaded right now, so sorry. I'm trying to watch out my mirrors for these guys to come up. After I left Swift Transportation, I tried a couple things that did not work out. I went to Indian River. I've been here just over a year. I absolutely love hauling bulk food tankers. It's fucking amazing. The one thing I don't like is the surge between the tank because it is a smooth bore tank, which means there's no baffles in it. So the fluid goes freely front to back whenever you stop or you go. It makes it kind of hard to sleep when you get into traffic or you find a teammate that slams on the brakes, but it's no big deal. She works her butt off. I work my butt off. I am a team with my co-driver. Her name's Joe. You guys will see her eventually, but she's always sleeping when I do videos or I'm in the back, or vice versa, whatever. Since I've been with Indian River, all I've done is haul tanks, and I wondered why I didn't do it before. They're much easier to back, and they're fun. Like I said, the biggest drawback to them is the search. I'm in my 30s. I have seven children. I have a 16-year-old boy, a 15-year-old boy, a 14-year-old daughter, 10 year old son, a three year old daughter, a one year old daughter, and a seven month old daughter. Yes, you heard me correctly. I have four girls, three boys. Two, three of them live in Michigan. The oldest three live in Michigan. The middle two, uh, well, the oldest three live in Michigan. The next oldest lives in Georgia along with my youngest, and the other two girls live out in Washington State. That's why I'm a truck driver. I can go everywhere. Like right now, I'm in Michigan. I'm supposed to be able to go see my son today. Hopefully, if these people get done with my truck quick enough, I'll be able to go see him. But as you see, I am still parked right here, just waiting along for the day to end. I love my job. I do really well at it. Like I was telling you guys before, the mental aspects, the physical aspects, the, mon the monetary aspects, they're all great. But the mental aspects is the hardest. I do have children. I love my babies. But I also know that I need to take care of them. And for me, we don't pay my child support and everything else that I need to do and to be able to see them, I need to be able to travel to go see them because otherwise I wouldn't be able to see my kids. 
I can't afford to fly around the country working at McDonald's or some other shop or something else. I don't have a formal education. I have a high school diploma and that's it. I figured starting this YouTube channel I could help other drivers. I could be there for them when they needed me because I do miss training. I miss helping drivers learn. And I don't mind talking about anything. I wanted to come forth and explain who I was so y'all knew. I am a good hearted man. I will help anybody as long as they're willing to help themselves. Shit, I'm willing. My students still call me today. Uh, that one just called me the other day asking me how to get out of a situation. I was glad to help. A lot of my friends call me a human atlas because I know my way around the country quite well by now. By the time I was 16, I had traveled 46 states. And by the time I was 21, I had been in all states, Mexico and Canada. I absolutely love traveling. So just know anything that you need, I'm here to help you. Leave a comment below and I will read them. And if you need actual help, I'll be glad to help you. I get an alert immediately. So most generally, I respond pretty quickly. I'm usually up. I drive from noon to midnight. I usually don't go to bed till about 2 a.m. And I usually get up, well, whenever I wake up. It all depends, but if you're new to my videos, hit that subscribe button right there. I would love to be able to show you guys more videos. Just tell me what you want to hear down in the comment section. And we'll talk about whatever you like. I do not mind. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And I'll post another video tomorrow. Have a good day. Oh yeah, if the wheels ain't turning, you ain't earning.